Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwatch and we are back with another one watch five new looks right so we're in this style of video i'm going to be showing you how to basically give you um, an old not really old watch so you have in if basically if you are in the situation of like you'd have a watch for about maybe two years like i did with this with this um seiko srpg 57 save the ocean antarctica Oof, that is a long name right so um if you've got you've had one of these for a while and you wanted to give it a new look so that you don't really have to buy <laughs> a, yourself a new watch right so you want to get that new look every single day or every single week or every single month so one one of the things that you can do other than modding the watch itself is just swapping out the strap right so as you get as you guys maybe already know um this one this watch came on a bracelet which i don't yeah i i am okay, okay with the bracelet but they do come with a few downsides so i tend to use this on another strap switch another aftermarket strap right so first up is this um i think this one is a generic um strap that you can get from aliexpress or on other sites as well um this one has this uh what do you call this t brand style uh, uh of material material to it so we have this um, thin thin nylon nylon material here with a uh, you know circular holes here and you can see that inside the, this particular strap we have a uh, gray with a blue tinge to it so yeah it's kind of kind of um um looking a bit uh, close to this uh, outer uh, side of the chaptering here right so that's that's right so um we have fixed keepers here one movable keeper here and you this style of strap so you can adjust this strap, strap length according to your wrist size so mine is 6.75 or 70 centimeters so yeah and we have this t brand style uh, buckle here right so yeah it's kind of cool and it is also of course available for around uh, 10 us dollars i think right so let's just put it on that and let's do a quick wristwatch share today i am wearing my cistern 600t so an homage to a certain um <laughs> certain brand certain d brand so i'm not going to be mentioning a name any name here but yeah i've done a full review of this particular piece quite a long time ago and yeah it still remains in my collection because yeah i wanted to do quite a li lot more videos using this particular piece right so let's just quickly put this um seiko monster srpg 57 save the ocean antarctica right so on my 6.75 inch race right so this is how you do it so you can of course um adjust this length the strap length according you can do much shorter but yeah i think that is enough so i think it's okay yeah what do you guys think so gray on blue i think it looks cool yeah let's just go to the next strap which is a strap that you can always get from my um favorite right so before i i'm <laughs> before i became a youtuber or doing this uh, watch review videos i've always got my straps from this uh, cns watch band right so you guys if you guys know the history of their of their website the, they are not called cns watch bands but somehow there are a few right trademark uh battle going on so that is why they have decided to change the um watch website names to avoid any complication in complications in the future but still see sophie from cnh watch watch bands has been producing quite a lot of you know um, brand new style of straps so over the years so i think she's been in business for more than 10 years i think so anyway so this is they call this um a premium line right so we have this um material here you can see that it looks a bit rough and yep i think it is okay not that bad so uh, for less than 10 bucks you can't really complain because they do offer quite a lot of styles so i just went for the you know for your for, for my typical boring color blue black <laughs> something so i don't really want to go for anything um you know extravagant uh, anything you know anything that is that stands out but yeah still you can always find quite a lot of my other colorways as well right so uh, dual pass style here right so fixed keepers here move we here and a cns cns watch band um buckle here right so and dark blue looks really nice with this uh, the theme of this sto monster which is this uh i call it happy feet right so where we have <laughs> where you can see um seven or six penguin feet on the dial right? I'll, I'll be showing you guys later right later right so this is how it looks all right so the, i think yep you can see that those penguin feet there but still this um 
you know, uh, premium style of strap. NATO strap looks cool in my opinion. And I think uh, I still have like, s I mean, on the seventh hole, so people up to maybe seven and a half inches, inch risk can still use this particular strap. Right? So, yeah, quite a lot of options if you go to the website. Right, so next up is another strap from CS CNS Watch Pants. Right, let's just take it off. I really don't want to pause this video. Right, so let's just see how I swap out this strap right so in uh, just under one minute right so let's uh, that is why I'm using this quick release pin so that I can easily put it on the wrist and show you guys how easy or how <laughs> difficult it is to do behind the camera because most of the time I can't really see what I'm doing here that is why I'm poking through behind the camera here right so yep okay so let's just take another one and let's see if I can do this and uh, one minute uno minuto right or ipung in in japanese ipung de right so kansei right so finish completed okay so let's just yeah this is the um one of those you know stretchy style straps so they call the cns watchman's call this paratrooper strap so we, we have these two loops here to make sure that this um adjuster don't move around so initial design they only use one loop and that one doesn't really work that well so um this hook here of course sign with sign with cns watchman logo here and this um uh, printing here in line here in the middle is actually gray and also the stitching is gray so somehow i think it matches the the design of this particular light right so so when you want to put it on let's just put <laughs> do it do this thing safely right so i just have to slide this thing like so okay 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 oh my god this is going to be difficult right so i'm struggling here sorry about this guys <laughs> oh my god yep right, so that is how you put it on right so let's the the one this one layer will be untucked under this uh, uh, under the top layer so yeah i think that looks cool of course you can adjust it according to your resize so mine is okay not that bad so i think it is just nice so of course i can easily adjust it uh, according to the situation because um I'm, we are here in malaysia we have a hot and humid uh situation sometimes so that is why having these uh, elastic straps really really help right so that is strap number three let's go to strap number four all right so next up is this engraved strap from uh, rsmwatchstraps.com so based a company based in, in based in singapore a, a neighboring country of ours of mine here in malaysia so basically what they have this what they have is this um quite a unique textured nylon material here with this um middle being pressed so it's kind of giving it, giving it a, a 3d look so of course this one they're using this uh, adjustable system here movable keeper here and fixed keepers over here and of course i can make it shorter but i don't really want to do that now because yeah it's kind of annoying but still easy to do easy to use easy to do right so and yep this scratch uh, strap is uh, using a single uh, piece construction so i just prefer that because it doesn't really add that much thickness to the watch and talking to the uh, about the dimension of this particular piece 42.4 millimeters in diameter from here to here a thickness of about 13.3 like to like 49.0 and like width of 20 millimeters so making it one of the um easiest watch to strap uh, to change the strap out uh, because it is quite a is uh, versatile like this right so let's go to strap number five and the last one is my favorite strap of the bunch which is this um single pass cordura strap from vario singapore so again thank you very much ivan for sending me the you know unique uh, products from them from uh, from you guys so yeah thank you very much right so i've been using this product Vario products for many many years now and i think this is one of the best if not if not the best right so basically what you have here is a cordura material on the top and a nylon material at the or not no nylon sorry canvas material at the bottom with this stainless steel uh, rivets right so um in, initially they they designed this product for a i think for g-shocks but um i think i've made this made this in 22 24 and 20 millimeters in diameter so i in with, with so i just simply have to have it so i asked him to send a few and this is one of my favorite right so i'm um, zulu style keeper here with a sign vario buckle here uh, keepers yeah stitch very very nicely done and i've had this for a few years now i think more than two years already and i think um these are still going strong right so you, there is a bit of fraying here at the end of the strap but i don't really mind it 
kind of making it look uh, look cool in my opinion right so um fifth i'm on the fifth holes here fifth hole here so people up to maybe seven and a half and each risk can use this particular thread so if you guys have um much bigger risk than mine so please do ask ivan if he has something longer right so yep that is how the watch looks on this um vario kodura stripe right so which is very very cool in my opinion right so there you have it guys my five different strap option if you want to give your watch a new look right so and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time i'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye